Hello again. And in this video, we are up on the, uh, the North Yorkshire Dales. Now we are in between Gordale Gorge, which is that way, and Malham Cove, which is that way. We're about a couple of miles um, between those two. In fact, I put a little map of, of exactly where we are just over here. Um, so we've had to come a bit of a hike off track. Um, the track that runs between the two is, uh, is about a mile um, to the south of us. And we've had to walk up up a gorge, which is quite um, quite tricky, quite steep, quite windy, um, and the, the 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 rocks there are, are quite interesting to navigate. So if you do come up here, be very be very careful. But the location we're at for this video is this tree behind me, which is possibly one of the most photographed trees in the country. Um, it's generally referred to as the lone tree on the limestone pavement, and as you can see, all around us is. Uh, this amazing limestone, limestone uh, pavement that was that was carved out many, many millions of years ago, and, uh, and today just sits here, and uh, there's grass going between it. It's, it's lovely to see. It's slowly getting eroded away by people walking on it, by wind, by water, by rain, by by everything. But it, it still is looking amazing. It's very treacherous to walk on. So if you do come up here, be very careful on these uh, on these rocks because they they are like little channels. But those little channels make for an amazing photograph and and here we are today at this tree and I'm, I'm kind of going to take the classic shot almost because you know I've, I've set my tripod up here quite high this time and the reason I set the, the tripod up quite high is so I can see down into this limestone pavement and the, and the grooves in the pavement are, are running straight towards the tree and now I'm off to one side of the tree a little bit um, that's on purpose uh, a lot of people to choose the the angle right in front of the tree so the lines run straight towards the tree with the tree in the center of the frame i've gone for something of a you know a composition that's put me on the third um, the reason is we have got some clouds sort of floating around today now it's it's, it's always interesting when you come out on a, on a walk like this with a you know with your camera because you know when we set off this morning you know we were absolutely drenched we were poor we were in the pouring rain it was debatable whether, whether we were even going to set off we set off on the walk anyway with our with our gear all wrapped up and, uh, and our waterproofs on. And two hours later, we're up here on the tops and it's it's glorious weather. Well, it's not glorious weather; it's sunny. So we've got some big clouds flying around. There are some showers passing through, and it's very windy. But actually, the the, the clouds in the sky have made it you know quite an interesting composition. You know, we can see the blue sky here. We can see the the rain clouds just behind us, and uh, hopefully, we're going to try and capture those in the in this photograph. So what we've got here is obviously the tripod is quite high, as I said earlier, to, to catch the, uh, the lines in the pavement. It, it's quite late in the day to be taking a photograph of this nature. Normally you would try and get, a, get up here for early in the morning to get the blue hour. So we are quite late. It's almost one o'clock in the day now, midday. Um, and, uh, but, you know, the sun, is, the sun is quite bright. It's, it's over there. But what that's doing is creating some quite nice shadows in the uh, in the gorges of the of the limestone pavement, which are actually quite making the pavement look quite nice. So, you know, you don't always have to get up here at, at daybreak or at sunset to take an amazing picture. I'm not saying this picture is going to be amazing, by the way, um, but you can get some quite interesting shots at other times of the day. So back to the gear. Um, I've got a wide-angle lens on this time. This is a uh, a 15 to 30 f 2.8. I've currently got it set at f 16. And uh, on the front of it, I've got a polarizer. The polarizer is just going to bring out some of the definition in those clouds, and uh, hopefully just uh, just tone down that sky a touch. And uh, also, I've got a neutral density filter, which is going to allow me to slow the shutter speed down so that I can get a little bit of movement in those clouds as well. Regarding the shutter speed, because I've got a neutral density filter on the front, that's going to give me a shutter speed of three seconds. Now. This is not ideal because although I've got my camera on its tripod, um, th this this grass here is is a little bit soft. Um, I didn't want to put my well, there's not enough rock here to put my camera tripod actually on the rock. So I am going to hold my tripod down as firm as I can when I take this photograph, just to stop it moving around. And uh, let's take that take that shot now. It is, a, it is a three second exposure. So let's take that picture as I as I hold it down. One two three and there's the shot now obviously i've got manual focus set so my focus my focus was set before i put my neutral density filter in because once you put that filter in your your focus will struggle to to, to lock on so do that before and then uh, and then lock your focus right let's have a look at the picture 
So as you can see, um, we, we've got exactly what, what I said we were going to get. We've got the, the tree on the third, we've got some clouds in the background, with a little bit of definition, a little bit of movement, not a lot of movement in the clouds, but just enough to, to make you feel like they, they are moving. And, uh, and then looking at that pavement that runs up to the tree, look at all the detail in those rocks and the, the amazing light as it falls onto the one side of the rock and then the other side is, is in shadow, creating some, some quite dramatic lighting on those rocks. I hope you enjoyed that picture. As I say, it's, it's not the best picture ever taken in the world of, of this tree. You can find many, many, many online, but I encourage you, it is one of the most photographed trees in the country. If you're ever in the area, make the effort to get up here and, uh, and take a photograph of this lone tree at, uh, at Malham. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.